Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to Team Rocket Island. I'll tell you a little bit more what that means exactly. Alright, so Team Rocket Island is essentially an island where Team Rocket got their names from, in Japan anyways. And it's located in a prefecture right next to the one that I live in. So I'm gonna take a day trip out to that location and try to find what's on that island. First up, get into the train. Now in order to get to that island, I need to take a Shinkansen or bullet train, another local train, and then two ferries. Apparently there's almost nothing on that island, but Team Rocket is there. So it's got to be special, right? Step one, bullet train. We just arrived, I gotta get off at this station, so up and at them. Let's get off. We gotta transfer to another train. We are at the local train area now. I still have my ticket though. It's a little confused if I'm gonna use this ticket or not use this ticket because this is the bullet train ticket. But sometimes you can use local. Let's hope no issues happen. Oh god. Things going way past me. Come back! I already caught it, now I'll just get into this. Why does it seem like there's so many people? I'm going out over here. There's no seats for me in this local train, so I'm just standing up here. It's a beautiful day, green outside. I'm excited for these ones. Alright, we're getting off. Let's go. Let's see if this works. Oh my god. No! It didn't work. <laughs> Alright, we got through. It actually worked. Well, it didn't work, but I had to pay 200 and 10 yen extra in order to get through. So that's fine. Gave them the money and now we are here and let's go. All right, we've made it to Mojiko and I'm gonna get a ferry ride that's gonna take me to the other side. If you've been watching this channel, you do know that this sort of looks familiar because we've been here before actually for other lids in this city right here. But today we're not here for those lids. Today we're going to the other side in Yamaguchi which has four new Poke lids, including those two Team Rocket Poke lids that I've been talking about. Well, Team Rocket Island. And I'm gonna give you a little bit more details when we're on the ferry, if I can, and not get seasick. Remember this building? And that beautiful long bridge? That bridge, usually you drive across to get to the other side, which is Honshu, the main island where Tokyo, Osaka, Hiroshima, you name it. Whatever you know about Japan, most of them are on that island. But I live in Kyushu, which is where we are right now. A really cool fun fact, actually. You can actually walk underground under the water for free, but we don't have time for that, so we gotta take this ferry. This is the schedule to get to the other side. This is the island. Yanujima is Team Rocket Island. But ever since COVID, they don't run from here. So we need to get to the other side, Karato, in order to get to this island. Because there's a ferry from there that goes there. Very confusing, but we're gonna figure this out. All right, we got our ticket. It's sort of funny as I can't actually read the signs, so I'm just guessing that the boat's gonna come from here. Here's the hoping. On to the boats. We just arrived. It got soaking wet, actually. The waves hit me in the face, so salt water. Tastes like salt. Quick and easy, we're on the other side. Now I need to get another ticket to get to the next island. Where's the ticket location? I think it's right here. See, options. This is what we're doing. All right, we got it. We're going to Ganujima. She just gave me this, Ganujima, the holy land of battle. So we have the time schedule for the ferry right here and this little pamphlet. Getting on to the next ferry. I didn't want to sit at the top this time because last time I got sprayed with so much water from the ocean because the rails are very low so it's not like you can stand up and relax it feels like you're almost about to fall over so I'm gonna sit inside at the bottom level this time around and uh, five minutes and I'll be there I wish I knew this earlier. Apparently a day passes a thousand yen. I just paid 900 yen to go here and 400 before, so I've already paid more and I gotta pay 400 to go back. 
sure. All right, we've made it to Ganlujima, which is literally looks like a deserted island. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And it's official. I have stepped foot onto the island of Ganujima. So now, let me tell you why I'm here. So this island, we call it Team Rocket Island. Well, I call it Team Rocket Island. I don't know about you guys. You don't have to call it that, but let me explain why exactly I'm calling it that. So, this island is famous for a battle. A battle that happened many years ago, about 1613, I believe it is. And that battle was between two samurai. One by the name of Miyamoto Musashi, and the other one is Sasaki Kojiro. Now, why is that important? Essentially, they fought. They were supposed to battle at 8 o'clock. Musashi arrived at 10. Kojiro was upset, so he hit him but he hit only his little hair piece at the back. And then Musashi came back with his sword, knocked his head off, and then jumped and left back to Shimano Seki. So essentially, the winner was Musashi. But what does that have to do with Team Rocket? Well, Team Rocket in America, who are they? They're Jesse and James, right? Well, in Japan, guess what their names are? Kojiro and Musashi. Those are the same names as the two that fought on this island. You can find lids related to Team Rocket here. And that's exactly what we're here for. Has a nice beachside, oceanside view. Uh, there's the bridge that we saw earlier, a little further away. Immediately, because I came from the port, which was over there, you take a little short walk and you walk right here to the toilets. And lo and behold, look down. And you got yourself a coffin. And now I saw this lid earlier when they first came out and I was like, oh cool, coffin. That's interesting. But then I noticed something underneath. You see that? That's me out tail. So I was like, why is that the case? And I tried to piece everything together. And lo and behold, that's how the story I found out online came to be. All right, another fun thing you can do when you go to these lids or find Poke lids, obviously you go into your Pokemon Go app, you check the area because, well, there's Pokemon in the area. That's not why we're here. But if you click these Poke Stops, you can get yourself right here the lids as well. James's Pokemon. Spin that stop, get a gift out of it. Give that away to people, your friends, subscribers. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Come on, guys. And lo and behold, now you have yourself an awesome gift. Look, they got a nice place to rest and just relax. That's cool. It looks fun but I can't stop. I took the three o'clock ferry, so I'm here at 3.30, and I think the next one leaves at 4.05, and then the last one's 4.50, so I wanna catch that 4.05, because even though we are here for Team Rocket Island, right, woo! There's still two more lids on the other side that I do wanna get today, too. Look at this. I heard there's like nothing on this island, don't go, it's not exciting, but they put lids here, so I have to be here. But it's like a full small circle you can walk around and there's got some trees here. It's got a nice vibe to it. Very empty, for sure. I didn't expect anybody to really be here, so it is what it is. It feels just like what you expect, just walking around on an island that has a lot of uh, shrubbery. I don't know if there's any animals on here. I, I assume there would be, but... And I see people stopping over there because there is a second lid on this island. Obviously, the next lid, you know what's on it. If you don't know, Come on guys. Not so far from the coffin lid actually. If you just walk, follow the path down the road, you're gonna get to a second lid actually, which is a little weird because it's sort of in the middle of nowhere because the ocean side is behind me. And I don't know what's up there, there's a lot of people. Oh, it's the monument of the battle. We'll check that out shortly. But it looks like Ekans is right here. You got Ekans right there. I saw Meowth right hidden by the tree. Well, we figured it out, guys. We are now Team Rocket Island, two lids in. Let's go see that monument. Obviously, as with the last lid, we have ourselves a Pokemon Go opportunity here to spin the stop. And I think we might have a special opportunity here. Because usually we have official Poke Stops, but what I just spun now doesn't look like an official Poke Stop. It looks like someone entered that in the manually. So I have a feeling if I touch this one that we have another. So two lid opportunity, yep. There it is. I have double the lids opportunity now. One real one and one, uh, it's still real, but it's just somebody from the community posted it. So we have two. What, what are these? Are these anything? Just a rock. And we got a couple gyms. Probably super empty. Well, I could put someone in. You know, 
Obviously, you know who we should put in. Do I have an Atkins? A shiny one. Let's put you in. Makes perfect sense. Bam! See? Pokemon Go and Poke Lids. You really should uh, get Pokemon Go if you're looking for these lids. Because now you have gifts opportunities and you can also save those postcards for yourself. Musashi Miyamoto Kojiro Sasaki. Name's plastered right here on this scroll. What is this though? Oh! It looks like it could be a story that I can't read. It's in Japanese. Let's go to the monument. So I think this is the big selling point of this island. This monument basically depicts the battle that occurred and I believe, if I can guess correctly, the guy who has the sword upright must be the winner. So that must be Musashi. And Kojiro, the loser, must be the guy who is on his knees. Check it out! I mean, we get to the corner of this island and it's so cool. It's very beautiful, peaceful. I think there's even a fishing boat that just looks stranded and abandoned. Well, it looks very old. I wonder if we can go to it. Maybe that's the boat, because I see a sign there. But I love this vibe over here. I think that's the end of the island though at the same time. So, because it doesn't go any further, which I thought we'd go in a circle around it. Actually, there is a path that way, so maybe we can. But everyone just turned around, so maybe you don't go? I will check out that corner. I mean, it's Team Rocket Island. We might as well go, right? See, we came across that boat that I was talking about earlier. It seems like it's put here, or at least it's permanently here. And there must be a story behind it because there's a sign right next to it. I, I can't read it and there's no English translation. I'm so sorry, I'm very useless. I'm walking that pathway right now. Google Maps does seem to show that there is a way to get to at least the end of the island. I just don't think there's a purpose. But we're gonna turn the corner and uh, figure that one out real quick. Looks like this pathway uh, leads us to maybe nowhere. I'm not sure. I wanna keep exploring, but time doesn't seem to let us do that. So I'm gonna have to say I gotta, should I just get to the end? Oh, okay, I'm gonna jog. I'm gonna jog to the end. But we have like under 20 minutes to get to the ferry because I need to catch the next ferry. So gotta go. All right, we got to the end. Uh, it really is a dead end. There's nothing further. So, it's nice, there's water, there's boats. Super sunny day. I think I need to run now. The time says we have like 13 minutes. So, was this worth it? Mm, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice walk. Now you understand why this is Team Rocket Island. Although, other than that, it really isn't much. It's cool. Uh, is it worth coming here? I don't know. If you like Pokemon, I guess the answer is yes, because you get to see two lids, and you get to see that battle. What, what really blows my mind is how Pokemon could decide to name, you know, Jesse and James after a battle that happened on this small island in this prefecture that is literally very random. Because Jesse and James, I would think, would be in Kanto region, which is in like around Tokyo. And this is literally nowhere near that. How they decided that battle. I want them to be named after that. I don't know. It's cool though. It's for your viewing pleasure. And cause I have some minutes here. Well, I didn't really talk about the background, but I think it's just this island and the beautiful mountains, which must be that, right? The next two lids, we're gonna try to figure out why the Pokemon on there are what they are. Leave it in the comments down below what you think the next lid Pokemon will be. And you can keep in mind, we just saw Team Rocket, so maybe that's a hint. Maybe I'm just trying to throw you off. I don't know. You guys figure it out. All right, looks like the boat is arriving, actually, so we're just in time. There is a mini white shrine here, which I skipped the very first time. That's cool, looks nice. And these cherry blossoms, perfect time for cherry blossoms. Look at that, beautiful. And right next to it, actually, there's these really old chairs for people to sit in and wait for the next boat. I feel like that boat has tried to park three times. It keeps missing. So while it does that, I'm looking at this map now. This is where we are. We walked all the way here. This is where the co- wait, no. Coffin lid is here. Ekans lid is here. And then I decided to walk to here. And then apparently you can't go anywhere else. What a great island. Half of it's off limits. Looks like they got the boat this time to park. We're back onto this boat. I swear this is too low. Ah.
All right, we've arrived off of the ferry and now I need to find the two more lids that are on this prefecture or in this prefecture. I looked at the map. I think it's close by. Let's go find it. All right, off the ferry, we arrived at what looks like a zoo. Uh, aqua theater it has dolphins, has statues of penguins here. So, hmm, penguins. Keep that in mind. I was coming this way because I know the lid is in this direction and I think I see it right there. Yep, I was right. Two, chin chow. We got a quillfish and a silhouette of a quillfish. All right here on this lid. I like this lid a lot. It's underwater, I think, which exudes exactly what this location is all about because there's a lot of seafood and the location is famous for puffer fish, cool fish right here. It especially makes sense since that aqua theater right here is literally right in front of it. Third lid done, one more to go. I think it's that way. Let's also get something to eat because I think there's a lot of good fresh fish around here. Case in point. Oh, they have a cartoon depicting exactly what we just saw on the island. It's all over this location. Now it's sort of interesting that I walk by things and I like, oh, I know what that is. Whereas before it might have been just like, ah, oh, that's a cool image. Now I'm like, oh, I learned something today. Looks like they got ice cream by the pier. Looks like yakiniku, you could barbecue. This looks like fresh seafood. I told you they're famous for it here. Look at that. Souvenir shops with some puffer fish balls of light, you know. I wouldn't usually go in, but maybe they have poke lid merchandise. Well, a lot of puffer fish here. And a lot of nice goods, but I don't see lid stuff. Banerjima stuff, it's everywhere. <laughs> I now understand. It's everywhere. Fugu or puffer fish. Now you see why quillfish was on that lid. It's literally everywhere. I mean, this is the location where they catch a lot of these and then obviously cook it. And it's dangerous to eat, but the way that the chef cuts it, at least if you're a professional, makes it so that you won't die. People were asking how I find poke lid gifts, and not just gifts, poke lid, like merch. And honestly, it's just a lot of walking around near the lids and going to these shops and hoping, because you never know, they could have it, they might not. Gift shops like this, that's literally all I go. I just keep searching until I find it. You usually go to the toy area, but I don't think they have it. I know that they probably didn't create it for this prefecture, so it's gonna be difficult. But I always try. Running by the ocean. Imagine doing that every day. I think this place is gonna be vibey in the summertime with all this ice cream. Makes sense, it's gonna be hot here, and it's by the water. In the distance right here, up ahead, this is Karato Market, which usually is, it's a fish market. It's not usually a fish market, it is a fish market but usually it's crowded. Right now it's empty because it's basically closed. Yeah, they close at three. This fish market is really one of probably my favorite things to go to on the weekend. You come here and they have many stalls, a lot of different fish, sushi, nigiris, and you can just walk, grab, put it in and pay. That's it. So simple, so easy. You don't have to sit down or anything. You grab it, you can go. It's like takeout. So the fish market is in there. That's usually where you grab all your fish and the stalls are all there. And then you can come out here and sit on these benches here and just relax while looking at the ocean side in the morning. They got Wi-Fi here, so you can always have Wi-Fi. But I really saw this. Well, I'm telling you, the puffer fish, it's famous here. We have one more lid, one more exciting water lid. I, maybe I ruined it for you guys, but leave in the comments down below who you think's in that lid. Oh, and I take it you were wrong on the previous lid. I would be wrong. I'm just saying. It's very difficult. Well, I made it to the end of the pier. We finally found actually our final lid, which is this guy right here. Very dirty. I didn't think he'd be on the grass, but Empoleon is right here. And look, every single one has that background of uh, hills and Wilmer's in this one. The Wilmer is uh, interesting because the Wilmer is here I don't know if whales are famous here, but I do know that on the other lid, on the other side of that bridge right there, is the Tropius lid. And the Tropius lid also has a Wilmer. So it could be the same guy. Two different lids. Is there a story where it's Empoleon versus Tropius? That would be really cool. You know what my guess is? Because this area is famous for seafood, water, fresh fish, I think, and this is just a really educated guess, Empoleon, is the king of fish, right? Trident, like a, almost like Zeus, 
like the god of fish. I think that's why they put it here on this lid, is to suggest that Yamaguchi has fresh fish, amazing seafood, and quite frankly, the king of all seafood. Just a thought. You guys let me know in the comments what you think Empoleon's on there for. Now, how do I get home? What? No way. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are these sister cities of this prefecture? Because Pittsburgh, California, USA, that's literally next to where I'm from. I'm from Concord, which is a couple cities over from Pittsburgh, but no one knows what Pittsburgh, California is. Hey, we found a lid. All right, whoa. Hey, there's a shrine right here. In the corner, right over there, you can see there's a statue of a pufferfish. It's everywhere, I swear. Anyways, here's the game plan. Obviously, we found all four lids in Yamaguchi, so we've successfully done what we came here to do. But I need to go home, and I'm going to do that by going on the ferry. Now, usually I would end the video here, say, hey, goodbye, thanks for watching, we got four. But, fun fact, in Fukuoka, where I live, I actually have not got all the lids. And on the way home, I think there's a potential, if there's sunlight still, for me to grab one more lid. So what I'm gonna do is hope that I can get the next ferry, whenever that is, and then try and get to the next lid. So why is there so much ice cream here? Should I eat ice cream? Guys, look carefully though. Look very carefully. If you find any poke lid items, let me know. Pause the video. I'm getting distracted. I'm gonna miss my ferry, but. All right, there's a boat in eight minutes, so I think we can get back. 400 yen. Let's go get another ticket. Another ticket. Last ferry of the day. Now we've had a beautiful day trip exploring islands that pretty much have nothing on them. Food markets or fish markets that have, well, have closed very early. Basically haven't eaten and uh, only obtained poke lids today, but. We can change that by getting food right now, or we can just fight through and get one more lid. I needed some food, so we got animal biscuits. Mmm, these are good. Highly recommend. That's not even a good advertisement. Highly recommend it. Let's do a local train this time. We are now in Kokura, and when we're in Kokura, we are looking for one thing and one thing only, tobacco store. No, we're looking for the lid, Starbucks not what we're looking for. Kokura Castle is 15 minutes this way. So you know you're going the right way. You know I half expected to see a castle over here and uh, I don't quite see that. I see a bunch of buildings in the distance. I see this cool bridge. No castle. Worries me. Beautiful colors by the river. Sun's about to set too. Riverside cherry blossoms sort of looks really beautiful. I think the lid is in this area actually but there's definitely not a castle vibe right now. Just typical anime Japan vibes though. Beautiful sunset, bike driving off, people walking by, cherry blossoms, and we found our lid. Agron right here. So, you, so whenever I looked at this lid online, I always thought, okay, Agron's on here because the castle is literally in this area. You know, metal and Agron sort of looks like a castle. And I always thought two and two, I, that's how I put it together. And I'm not entirely sure if I'm correct on this, but I mean, that's what I'm gonna go with. But it could be that also that they produce metal or something in the sort, and that's why it's famous. But there definitely is a castle here, I just saw it. It's weird, it's next to this like new age building and then castle on the left side behind those cherry blossoms. I'll walk over there in a second. Super loud over there though. I think people are performing. Also, I mean, it gives us a chance to actually spin this poke stop and get ourselves an agron lid which i don't have and now i do and i know there's a couple more in fukuoka that i haven't got they're close to here like there's this dug trio lid that i can get but i want to go home so i think that's gonna be it i'm gonna check out the castle really quick and then uh i think that's gonna i'm gonna end the video right there and five and one day is pretty good plus i might have to catch some pokemon like this huge polyrath right here they have a burger place here and a starbucks over there but it's pretty vibey out here, springtime. It's really nice actually. And it looks like they have a market or a festival going on. We're gonna have to see real quick. I told you it's loud. He's singing. Professional, buy his CD. Oh my God, the castle looks amazing with the sunset. 
And look at this. This guy has a professional camera. He's doing something amazing too. I didn't plan on doing any of this. I didn't even plan on coming here actually, but uh, time it with the sunset and the cherry blossoms and the little festival that they're having right now with all the food in the castle oh my god it's sort of i don't know so i i'm not a big fan of spring but for some reason it feels really nice and beautiful right now we'll try to go to another lid location soon keep liking those videos that i post with all those lids that i haven't gone to yet because whichever one that has the most i will start to go to those next they have squid here actually i don't know what this is it looks like rolled meat is that omurice english it is and pudding literally just salad fresh salad Ooh, they have smoothies though and then we got the ginger ale chai organic cart with the cherry blossoms behind it. got myself something for today it's like a, re a reward they have all the fried food going on around and the castle what a beautiful vibe we're gonna have to go across the other side of the country at some point and get more lids because I'm falling way behind honestly it's not as easy for me to go places anymore with you know my job but we try and we're gonna have some fun doing it so I'll see you guys in the next one mm. thanks for watching my guy in the corner is whistling a song if you can hear it it's pretty accurate it's not gonna be copyrighted. <laughs> Thanks for the entertainment, bro.